The start of LSU football this past weekend came with some new experiences for Tiger fans. News reporter Lauren Watson has the story. LSU football is back, but the game day experience is a little different for students this season. With stadium capacity limited, LSU's season opener saw a student section not nearly as intimidating as past seasons. New stadium regulations like limited concessions, required masks, and reserved seating are changing the way fans experience game day. LSU sophomore Carly Christ says that the changes were implemented in an efficient way. I really think the whole process was so efficient. They were super quick to get us in. I got to the game around 2 o'clock and um, it, it was super quick to get in. They let us use any gate um, and once getting in they were like the staff there was super nice um, and they, they would come and check and make sure we were in our seats but they, they weren't really bothersome or anything. Christ also said that the changes had a large effect on the energy in the student section. Um, I do feel as if the energy was a little bit less, um, overall less, just because there was less people, the le like less band, it was spaced out. LSU junior Olivia DeFess said that despite the changes, being back in Tiger Stadium still felt like old times. Um, I feel like this game, like, it might have seemed like it was a little bit weird because obviously it's the first one with, like, all the COVID restrictions. But at the same time, when I went in at, like, a 2.30 game, like, on a normal season, I feel like you wouldn't still have, like, this giant turnout for the majority of the game anyway. So to me, it kind of, like, brought a sense of, like, normalcy back into the school year because, like, I don't have any classes. And so to finally get into Tiger Stadium was, like, really, really nice. Although the game didn't end the way the Tigers may have hoped, at least the fan experience wasn't a total loss. Lauren Watson, Tiger TV Newsbeat. Students who missed out on the first game but requested football tickets this season should be notified about future games by October 2nd.